Hey, hey, y'all. This is Shawnee P. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is another biblical affirmation. But guess what? I'm switching things up just a little bit this time around. So this affirmation specifically comes from Judges 4 and 5. And yes, you absolutely have to read four and five of judges so that way you can truly embody this affirmation why because there's such a great beautiful backstory to this what we're speaking about specifically prophetess deborah she was the true definition of a courageous woman a woman who was consistently hearkening into god's voice and had a good relationship with God. Obviously, if she was listening to his voice and following his instructions, and she was the one who led Israel out of bondage. So when I think of Prophetess Deborah, I see aspects of myself. You know, all my life I've been trying to show up and save everybody. And the ways in which I was doing it was not bringing the results that I desired. So if there are many people out there that are listening that, that are people pleasers and they just want the best for everybody, they see all the positive potential in everybody, and then they show up and give more of themselves, and that person does not utilize those things and they feel like it's wasted, this is for you. Read Judges 4 and 5. I guarantee you. It will set you free. It will allow you to understand what it is that you need to have when it comes to characteristics for yourself. You know, there's boldness when it comes to being obedient to God's word. There's boldness when it comes to, you know, executing the instructions that God gives you. There's a level of rejection that you're going to receive from people naturally. and But when you're rejected by something that God has called you to do, it feels different from when you're doing something that yourself told you to do or your trauma told you to do, you know, or, you know, your family dynamics taught you to do to other people. It, it feels different. It's a sense of rejection. It's like, you know what? Hey, I did exactly what I was supposed to do. I can confirm that I'm going to be in right standing with the Lord because I've listened to him. I followed his orders. And because those others are rejecting me, it's just it's just a symbolism for the, them rejecting God. And a lot of people don't recognize that, which is why so many people get in trouble. Even today, people are getting in trouble left and right because prophets are speaking truth and people are deciding to reject them, to try and put them down, to, to fight and mock them. And guess what? All they're doing is doing that to God because God's people are not to be played with. And I think that that's a message for somebody as well. Whoever's sitting and feeling like they've been taken advantage of feeling like it has been the end of the world for them feeling like people have just been beating them up left and right throughout their lives i want you to know that god sees you and you are god's anointed one you are a child of god you are a chosen one and god does not play about you so even if you feel like god has been silent during this process he's actually in the background working on some things he's definitely going to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies <laughs> If you don't know exactly what that's going to look like, my goodness, let me tell you, I had a dream. Now, God talks to me in dreams all the time. I have visions, you know, the whole shebang, right? Um, and he showed me what that looks like for him to prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He just showed me in a different capacity than what I could have imagined. You know, the enemy tried to interfere in my life when it came to relationships, my marital destiny. He showed me a vision of what that looks like preparing a table in, in front of them. And um, that's something that's just very powerful that I wanted to share with y'all. Y'all, you know, I did all this talking and I had yet to share the actual affirmation that we're going to focus in on for today. All throughout the day, meditate on this. But of course, you have to read Judges 4 and 5. Make sure you read it today. All right. So the affirmation is, I am fearless. I am obedient to God. I will lead God's people to victory and out of bondage. Now, there's a few key points that I want you to recognize as you read in Judges 4 through 5. Deborah was fearless. She's hearing the word of God and she's not showing up with fear. She's showing up with faith when it comes to giving those instructions to everybody else. Number two, she's obedient. She's doing exactly what God has told her to do. She's not questioning it. She's not trying to manipulate it in any way. She's just not doing any of that. So guess what? She doesn't have to deal with severe consequences. The consequences that are coming about are blessings for her. And then also, she, you know, you can embody the essence of leading God's people to victory because there are many people today that are caught in slavery that are allowing themselves to still wander around in the wilderness. Now, re realizing that, you know, just one step 
away from the promised land. And many of us are called to be speakers to, and we have all of these great gifts that God has instilled within us. And I believe that anybody that listens to this is responsible is responsible for leading people out of bondage into victory because in each of your lives you have become victorious over things that many people are having trouble with doing and i pray that this message resonates with you and that you're able to really embody feeling fearless obedient to god and leading god's people to victory and out of bondage be sure to look for the loop five minute meditation affirmation tomorrow i will talk to y'all soon peace